Hey guys. Uh, today, I'm here to talk about the Assassin's Creed movie. Now, I went to see it on Monday. Uh, and to be honest, I wasn't very impressed. Let me be clear, it's not a terrible movie by any means, but neither is it particularly a good one. It just kind of exists. It's kind of flat. You know what? It is the movie equivalent of a glass of tap water. It sustains you, it does its job, but it won't impress you. This is a shame, given how much I love Assassin's Creed, and how much potential it has for awesome visuals. So, one of the major things it does wrong is it makes the same mistake that the first Assassin's Creed game made, where it insists upon focusing mainly on the person going inside the Animus to experience their ancestors' memories as opposed to the ancestor who gets to do all the exciting things. So in the games, in the uh, the first four games of Assassin's Creed, that's Desmond Miles and his ancestors Altair and Ezio. You spend most of the time with Ezio in Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood and Revelations. And in the movie, it's Callum Lynch and his ancestor Aguilar. Now... <laughs> It was clear that they wanted to go for a similar time period to the Ezio trilogy, because that's what's most familiar to people. But because they were focusing on Callum Lynch and explaining all the Abstergo stuff, and because they were uh, only seeing the Renaissance, in this case Renaissance Spain stuff, in tiny little sections, you didn't get a chance to get to know the Ancestor or Callum Lynch, and both were just flat. And and boring. I mean, the action was okay, but you only saw tiny bits of it. And you never got, you weren't invested in the action because you never got to know any of the characters. Whereas, if you think about the Ezio trilogy, that's Assassin's Creed Two, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Assassin's Creed Revelations. Think about those games. You get to know Ezio. You do care about what's happening to Desmond, but you get to know Ezio way more. You spend way more time with him. And Ezio, as a person, he has a personality. It might be a fairly generic personality, but he has one. He has charm. He has humour. He's angry when he needs to be. Sad when he needs to be. And there's no time for Callum Lynch's ancestor, Aguilar, to feel that way in the movie. Because you spend a whole ten minutes with him. It's, it's really... It's such a letdown to a franchise that has such a sense of adventure and a broad scope. And sometimes, you know... One of the worst sins a movie like this can commit is to be too self-serious. I know that the Assassin's Creed series in the past has had a tendency to be self-serious, but it's also had, you know, different types of characters in it to make it more light-hearted, and the movie doesn't do that. The movie is self-serious all the way through. You know, what I wanted out of this film was for it to be like... I don't know, like the last movie Ubisoft did, so... The last movie Ubisoft collaborated with a movie studio on was the Prince of Persia movie. That was a kind of light-hearted, Pirates of the Caribbean-esque type thing. And I wanted maybe a more serious adult version of that. But I didn't get that. It was just... <sighs> that That's what I'm trying to say. It was a terrible letdown. Anyway, it's pretty late here. But uh, thanks for listening. Uh, tell me what you thought of the Assassin's Creed movie in the comments. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll talk to you again later. Bye.